Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on what is TK Inter. Do you know friends that Python has been growing in popularity and is widely used in various industries including web development, data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Due to its versatility and simplicity and user friendly syntax, Python has become the preferred programming language for many companies and organizations. As a result, Python has a promising future in terms of job opportunities. Now before we discuss more about it, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So let's discuss our agenda first. So we are going to start our session with an introduction to TK Inter. Moving ahead, we are going to learn about features of TK Inter. Then we are going to deep dive into advantages and disadvantages of TK Inter. Moving ahead, we are going to learn creating a simple GUI application using TK Inter. And at the end, we are going to discuss the conclusion. So let's start with an introduction to TK Inter. Do you know friends that TK Inter is a standard Python library that is actually used to create graphical user interfaces or the GUIs. It is a wrapper around the TK GUI toolkit which was originally developed for the TCL programming language. TK Inter is actually a cross platform and can be used on Windows, Mac, OS and Linux. It is a kind of a Python library that basically allows developers to create the graphical user interface applications quickly and easily. It is a simple and easy to use library that provides a wide range of widgets and can be used to create different types of applications. TK Inter is included with the most Python installation so there is no need to install any additional software. You just have to only import the library. It is also cross platform which means that application developed with TK Inter can run on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Now let's see the various features of TK Inter. If I discuss about the various features, the first one which comes up in my mind is a cross platform support. TK Inter can be used to create GUI application that run on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. It is also kind of easy to use. TK Inter is easy to learn, easy to use and makes it popular choice for the beginners. The next feature is that it provides a wide range of widgets. TK Inter actually has a lot of widgets and can be used to create different types of applications including buttons, labels, text boxes and many more. Now you would be wondering what are widgets basically. So let me tell you something more about widgets. Widgets in TK Inter are the elements of the graphical user interface application which provides various controls such as you get labels, buttons, combo boxes, check boxes, menu bars, radio buttons and many more. It is basically used for the users to interact with the application. So you can consider something like this. First you are going to import the Tinkter module. Then what you will be doing basically is you will be creating the main window for the GUI app. And then finally we are going to add the widgets to the app and then you can enter the main event of the loop. Which we will be proceeding further and we will try these things on our hands on. Now the next feature is it is pretty much customizable. Which means that TK Enter allows developers to customize the look and feel of their applications by using themes and styles. So this was all over features of the TK Enter. Now let's move forward and discuss the advantages and disadvantages of TK Enter. So first one is that it is cross platform. So if I talk about the cross platform, it means that TK Enter can be used to create applications that can run on different platforms like Mac OS, Linux and many more. Second is it is kind of easy to use. So TK Enter is easy to use and to learn that makes it good choice for the beginners. The next advantage is that there is an integration with other libraries. TK Enter can be easily integrated with other Python libraries. And finally it is customizable which means that it allows developers to customize the look and feel of their applications. Now let's discuss some of the disadvantages of using TK Enter. The first one is that it has a limited functionality. TK Enter provides only basic functionality which may not be sufficient for complex applications. Second is it is not very flexible. TK Enter does not provide a lot of flexibility when it comes to designing complex user interfaces. And third one is there is a lack of documentation. Some developers have complained about the lack of documentation for TK Enter. Now we will move forward and discuss some of the other things but before that let me sum up the advantages and disadvantages of using TK Inter. So with all these advantages what you can do is 
you can create windows and dialog boxes. So it can be used to create windows and dialog boxes which will allow users to interact with your program. This can be used to display information, gather input or present options to the user. Then you can also use it to build a GUI application for a desktop. It is used to create an interface for desktop application which includes buttons, menus and other interactive elements. Also, you can create your custom widgets as I have told you earlier. It includes a variety of built-in widgets such as buttons, labels and text boxes. And finally, you can prototype a GUI, basically a graphical user interface, which can be used to quickly prototype what kind of graphical user interface you want to build, which allows you to test and iterate on different design ideas before committing to a final implementation. Finally, summing up all those things, I would like to say, TKinter is a useful tool for creating a wide variety of graphical user interfaces, which includes windows, dialog boxes, custom widgets, and basically particularly well suited for building desktop application and adding a GUI to a command line programs. Now we will proceed further and we are going to discuss the hands on on creating a simple GUI application with TKinter. So consider this program as a simple GUI application which is made using TKinter. Now the first thing which you have to do is remember always that you have to import TKinter as TK. Write this command on your IDE. And right now I'm using PyCharm as our ID. Then what you have to do is you have to create a window. So you're going to write window equals to TK dot capital TK, which basically shows the title my Tinter application. So this line of code is going to create our window. The next task is for us is to create a label. For creating the label, we have to create a variable, then which you have to equal to a TK dot label and inside it, you will write window and write the text which you want to add it up. Next, all you have to do is write label.pack. Okay. So after that, what you have to do is you have to create a button. For creating the button, declare a variable call button, which is equals to tk dot button. And inside this, write window and write the text which you want to write it. Here I have written click me and I have command equals to lambda expression. I've added in which print the button click. When you're going to click it, it's going to print it. Then finally, we are going to start our event loop with window dot main loop. Now let's run our application for running it. Just click on run since I've already run the application. So with this process, you can run the application. So this is something like this. So if you click all over here, it shows welcome to my TK enter application. This is kind of a simple GUI application, which you can make it using TK enter library. Okay. Now this is our second program and this is kind of interesting one. In this, we are going to create our menu widget and you would understand that menus are very important part of our application. You can also see here that if you click on file, you can see a lot of menu option for saving the file or deleting or opening. So there are a lot of options which you can do it, which is basically a part of the most important part of our graphical user interface. So first thing you have to do is import TK enter. Next thing what you have to do is you have to create the window. So as I've declared a variable called root equals to TK and I have written root dot title menu demonstration. Then we will be creating the menu bar which equals to menu bar equals to menu and I have added this variable called root. Then what we have to next do is add our file menu and commands. So I declare a variable called file which is equals to menu, menu bar and tier of equals to zero. Then what I have done is I have added menu bar dot add cascade and basically inside this function I've added label equals to file and menu equals to file. Then I've added the command label equals to new file. So as you can see, when you want to add a new file or new something, so I've added the same as label as new file. And I've set the command equals to none. You can choose your operation depending upon what commands you want it. Then I've also added file dot add command label equals to open and command equals to none. Then similarly, I have added save. Okay. And then finally added separator. Then added also exit. Okay. Now we are going to add edit menu and commands. So as you can see all over here, we are going pretty fine. So we have declared the variable called edit, which is equals to menu, menu bar tier of equals to zero. Then menu bar dot add cascade similarly, and I have added this label equals to edit. Okay. Then label equals to cut, copy, select all. So these are certain commands which I have added. Then finally added the separator. Okay. Then also added the command find and find again. Then finally, what I was doing basically adding the help menu help equals to menu, menu bar, tier of equals to zero, menu bar or add cascade, label equals to help or also added TK help. Okay. 
and finally enable demo and about it. So as you can see all over here we have created our menu widget. Now let's run the program. For running the program all you have to do is just click on the run and your file is gonna run again. Since I've already run the command so let me see what our output is. Okay so let's run it and we could see we have a very beautiful widget all over here. Here you can see there is new file open save and exit and edit we have cut copy paste select all find again and help tk help demo or about it. So as you can see this was a simple demonstration of menu widget. I hope so you got a pretty good idea how to create small widgets. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope so you like this video on tk inter. If you want to make a career in data science then Intellipat has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts.